Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of September 2nd to September 8th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of cancer in regards to love for this week. Let's get one more shuffle. All right. What's the energy of Cancer in regards to love for this week? Cancer. All right. First card we have for you is the Knight of Swords. We also have here the Queen of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Wands in the reverse. Bottom of the deck, two of wands to the star to the teal, sorry, ten of wands and the page of swords in reverse. All right, what's going on? Let's see. Knight of swords. Then. So you're kind of done with someone with the star in reverse and the ten of wands. It feels like you're done with a relationship or um, you just don't have any hope or optimism about this relationship and, you know, um, the success of this relationship. You're looking for something long term. You're looking for a stable commitment um, and you just don't see that happening with the star in reverse. Ten of Wands, there's been a lot of challenges and there's been a lot of um, issues and you're kind of tired. At least you look tired. You look, yeah, you look exhausted. Um, so there's the energy of a certain individual here. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Someone is coming towards you um, with very strong energy wanting to wanting to communicate with you um, urgently or wanting to be in contact with you urgently or wanting your attention urgently whoever this person is you're kind of looking at them like oh what does this person want what do you want you know What's so urgent? Yeah, what's so urgent that um, you need to like talk to me immediately or why do you have to contact me or what do you want from me? It's that type of energy. It doesn't look like you're very happy to see this person or to hear from this person. Hmm. All right, Spirit, tell me about this Knight of Swords energy that's showing up here, please. In Cancer's reading. So we do have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So this person recognizes that you are emotionally closed off to them. Um, it does look like you're emotionally closed off, but it's because you don't see any um, hope in this relationship. You don't see any point in opening up to them. You don't feel like things are going anywhere. Um, you don't feel like this relationship is, pro is progressing or growing or headed towards anything long term or stable. So you are emotionally withdrawn and closed off. And I feel like that's why this person wants to um, talk to you. They don't like the fact that you are um, being emotionally closed off to them. 
Tell me more about this Knight of Swords energy spirit, please. So we have the Three of Wands. Mm, okay. And we also have the Three of Pentacles. This person wants to make something happen with you. They want to make something happen with you. I'm getting a little bit of a third party situation energy here with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. I'm definitely getting that. This person could have some other option or some other relationship that they're entertaining or that they've been entertaining. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse in Cancer's energy. We have the Knight of Cups. Why are there so many people? There's way too many people here. Definitely third parties is what I'm getting or third party. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and Cancer's energy. Ten of Swords in reverse. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Temperance. Yeah, some of you got tired of waiting for this person, waiting for them to make things right with you. Um, this person wasn't, wasn't doing what they should have been doing because they were entertaining some other option on the side or some other relationship that they were entertaining on the side. Um, that's why they weren't stepping up to the plate when they wanted, when you wanted them to. But I feel like that's something they're doing this week and you're not you're not really um, receptive, receptive to it anymore. Because at this point, you feel like this person is just not taking you seriously. And you're looking for a serious relationship. So you're kind of disappointed, I feel like, in, in your energy. Yeah, very disappointed. This person doesn't want to lose you. They don't want you to they don't want you to walk away from them, but it kind of looks like they haven't been they haven't been nurturing this relationship. They haven't been inv fully investing in you, and it's because of a third party. All right. Let's move on. Let's move over to the other side of the reading. Let's take a look at your person's energy. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards cancer, please, for this week? We have the devil here and the two of swords. Okay. One more shuffle. All right. What is Cancer's person's energy towards Cancer for this week? Thank you, Spirit. First card we have is the Five of Swords in the reverse. We also have the Judgment card with the Three of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune, Strength card, and the Emperor. All right, let me see what's going on. Yeah, I feel like this person had you like on the sideline or on, you know, or on the back burner. I'm definitely getting that energy. Yeah. This feels like the energy of someone who's juggling between two people. And um, they can't do that at the same time. Like they can't really... You know, like they can't really repl replicate their energy twice between you and somebody else. Um, there's always going to be some sort of difference. 
um, they're always going to be giving a little bit more to one than the other uh, at certain at certain at certain moments in time. So. Yeah, because they're they're just one person. Like they can't do that. They they're just one, they're just one human being. So I feel like this person was spending a little bit too much time with the other person who they're juggling you with. And they were basically neglecting their relationship with you, Cancer. Because they were spending too much time entertaining uh, whoever else they're, whoever else is in the picture for them. I want to know what happened to the other one, though. That's what I want to know. Let me see if I can figure that out. Tell me about this other connection um, that this person's entertaining that's not cancer. What's the status between them and this other person for this week? So we have the Magician with the Two of Cups in the reverse, the Moon in the reverse. Why, why is that? Queen of Wands, Ace, okay, okay. Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Wands. Sorry, Six of Cups. Yeah, this, this other person is more of a, this person's a, a challenge. They're challenging because this other person is um, very demanding. This other option that they have is very demanding. And it's stressing them out because this person just wants, you know, um, their options to be submissive. Clearly, this is a toxic person who wants to feel in control and f they want to feel like they have power over more than one relationship and um, they want to be the, they want to be the, like the leader the dictator so this other option is um, uh, being very aggressive and controlling and, and demanding not controlling but like demanding so they're having a hard time with that other option and that's why they're coming towards you um, they're hoping that the relationship is easier with you I have to be honest with you. I feel like this other option, that that's what's going on here. This other option is a little bit of a, a B-I-T-C-H. Male or female, doesn't matter the gender, you know. But I feel like that's what's going on. This Because that's what it looks like. This other option looks like they're, they're a little bit of a B-I-T-C-H. It almost feels like they go together. I, it feels like they go together. I feel like they make a good match. Because it's like they both play games with each other, you know? If that makes sense. They both play games with each other. You, on the other hand, you're a lot more of a um, mature person with the Queen of Pentacles here, male or female, and the Strength card. You are showing up, even the Queen of Cups here. You're definitely showing up, showing up as more of a mature person, someone who doesn't have time for games, someone who's more about creating stable energy and a stable relationship. So they're coming towards you, Cancer, because they want that energy. They want that peaceful, grounded, stable energy that you bring to the table, that mature energy that you bring to the table. Because this other option that they have is stressing them out. 
you know? That's definitely what I'm getting here. Okay. All right, Cancer, I'm going to stop the reading here and I'm going to continue now in the extended. In the extended reading, I will be taking a deeper look at your person. I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions with you for this week? What actions will they take towards you moving forward? And what will the overall outcome be for this relationship? If you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Take care.